Give me China. I don't mean the crockery. That's just a mockery. I mean the country of China. I want to peep there. I want to sleep there. I want to sleep in China. Chinese nights are quiet nights. Chink, 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 chink. On all the little Chinese lantern lights. Wink, 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 wink. And the flat, fat feet of the rickshaw boys. Patter, 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 but they don't make a noise. For the Chinese Mr. Belisha told them they mustn't Hong Kong from 11 p.m. In Shanghai, Pekin, Fu Chow, Nankin, or anywhere else in Ching, 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 Ching. Anywhere else in China. Out in the wilds of Asia Minor, just on the left-hand side of China, down in the salt mines works a miner, an Asian miner in Asia Minor, just on the left-hand side of China. See what I mean? Okay. And just on the left-hand side of China, that's the right of Asia Minor, dwells a girl, and none could be finer. And she's the China of the Asian miner who works in a mine in Asia Minor, just on the left-hand side of China. See what I mean? Okay. And twice a year, in an ocean liner, the miner's China who lives in China pays a visit to Asia Minor to see the Asia Minor miner. When they meet, they get a kind of ticklish feeling down the spine, and so would you if you lived in China and had a China in Asia Minor that you couldn't get to without a liner. When you met, what could be finer than that ticklish feeling down the spine that I've described in a previous liner? See what I mean? Okay. Well, one day, the Asia Minor miner received a note from his Chinese China to say that a tiny human whiner was brought by the stork to the miner's China. So the Asia Minor miner is now a major as well as a miner. The Asia Minor Miner's Miner is growing up into as fine a man as can be found in China. Perhaps one day he'll take a liner and land, of course, in Asia Minor and naturally become a miner. Maybe he will have a China, a charming China who lives in China just on the right of Asia Minor. See what I mean? Okay. And if you ever visit China and meet the Asian Miner's China, you'll find she doesn't grieve or pine a bit for the Asia Minor Miner. She hopes one day he'll take a liner and come to his China and his Miner. And, of course, she'll sit and sign no more for the Asia Minor Miner who works in a mine in Asia Minor just on the left-hand side of China. See what I mean? Okay. Chinese nights are quiet nights. Ching, 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 ching. And all the little Chinese lantern lights. Wink, 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 wink. And the girls and boys play a game that's tame. Hanky, panky, panky, it's a quiet sort of game. Or they play mahjong all with great delight. They do jigga, jigga, jigsaw puzzles all night. In Shanghai, Pekin, Fu Chow, Nankin, or anywhere else in Ching, 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 Ching. Anywhere else in China. I'll have half a pound of opium, please. By gad, so there's one thing I'm proud of. My country, my nation, my land. It's a thing you should not speak aloud of. But honestly, isn't it grand? To be born and bred amidst these hills and these plains, with Anglo-Saxon blood in your veins? Oh, I'm terribly, terribly British. But that's what I like about me. I belong to the type who has tweeds and a pipe. I'm the kind of man people call he. I don't get excited when shares rise and fall. As for fear, passion, love, oh, it's simply a pall. In fact, I haven't got any emotions at all, because I'm terribly British, you see. I once met a bad girl with a good pair of legs. You can have what you like, said this lass from the dregs. I'd applied thanks, I'll have bacon and eggs, because I'm terribly British, you see. I often think of our far-flung empire. In fact, it's a pity it's been flung so far. All over the world, there are thousands of Scotsmen and two or three Englishmen who are saving Britain and money in sticky, unpleasant surroundings. Just think of them. In places where it's too hot to have even your own wife with you, and all the other ladies are called untouchables and are looked after by Gandhi. It's dangerous to go out in the sun, too. As Shakespeare put it, topi or not topi, that is the question. And what can a man do indoors during the heat of the day there? He either yells and shouts punk to the punker waller, or bawls and screams at some other waller. Nerves are on the edge of beyond, on the edge of beyond. And language is blue in the blue. Only coolies are cool. Can't you visualize your fellow countrymen out yonder? Mining for rubber, tapping for tea, dicing for drinks, longing for a woman's restraining influence. Their mothers, perhaps. Perhaps. Often these brave fellows fall ill. And then in their fever they think of home and beauty and the minister of transport. Especially when their pulses are going over thirty miles per hour in built-up malaria. 
Yes. There are the hot spots of our empire where only monkeys can live happily. But what about the cold countries where even brass monkeys are said to suffer from the frost? Think of the lonely pioneers. Their tired legs tramping over frozen wastes in the daytime, their tired arms twining round frozen wastes in the evening, as they dance their gold away in some saloon, or sing their famous song, Yukon trail the low road, and I can trail the high road, but alas can get there before you. Or think of the lonely Canadian farmers, who get their oats in the summer, but nothing in the winter except pork and the flu. There are dangerous men on the prairie, too, men who think nothing of pulling out a rod, pole, or perch, and shooting a man a furlong away. Not for long. The Northwest Mounted Police get them sooner or later. Being all ex public school men, string them up on the nearest family tree. Yes, I'm proud to belong to a nation which has produced men like Nelson, Maxton, Wellington, Cochrane, and Epstein. Women like Grace Darling, Birdseer, Lady Godiva, Mary Tempest, and Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. There was a woman they couldn't play ducks and drakes with. Oh, well, certainly not ducks. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly British. And that's what I like about me. I belong to the type who has tweeds and a pipe. I'm the kind of man people call he. I have a boy who's at school. He's a fine little beast. The high was born. I don't know in the least. Because I sleep in the West Wing, my wife in the East. Because I'm terribly British, you see. Well, Monton, Monton, which, as you know, is French for chin-chin. 